Hi everyone, welcome to the next lecture on Fourier series. In this lecture, we are going to discuss this interesting example. Here, the function is f of x equal to minus pi by 2 in the interval minus pi to 0 and it is pi by 2 in the interval 0 to pi. That means here, our interval is start from minus pi to pi and there is between 0. So for minus pi to pi, value of function is minus pi by 2. And for 0 to pi, value of function is pi by 2. Now, if you observe this question, you might be thinking that here in integration is minus pi to pi. That means we can use the even and odd function concept. So, yes, in this term, we can use even and odd function concept to solve the integration. And uh, what is even function, odd function, how to check whether it is even or that all concept we have already discussed in the previous video. That playlist is given in the description box or at the end of this video you can find the playlist of four year series. In that uh, video I have clearly discussed uh, what is even or and how to check whether the function is even or and there is a shortcut method to check the function even and or. Now see here our function contain both the values are in the form of constant. If it is constant, hai, to many students think that this is a constant that means it is a even function because constant matlab x ki value change hone ke baad mein function change ho, ho gai nahi. So that's why many times we can think that this type of function is a even function. So kya hota hai? Whenever we have given the function f of x is equals to some constant. So x replaced by minus x you will get f of minus x equals to c because here c is a constant there is no x so no change in the function. So that means you get f of minus x equals to f of x. So we can say our function is constant and constant function is even function. This is the definition of even function. So it is an even function. If okay, function is constant, hai, toh, then it is called an even function. Now here value of function is minus pi by 2. Minus pi by 2 is constant but it is in the interval minus pi to 0. And then after that value is changed and it is pi by 2 in the interval 0 to pi. So, this function in this function may even or odd up directly discuss nahi karoge. This shortcut way mein aapko video mein bata diya hai. Toh wo agar clear hai, toh you can say this is our odd function. But agar confusion hai, toh how to check this even or odd? Jaisa hi hao pe x replace kar diya minus x se. The same way you have to replace x by minus x. So, firstly I will discuss whether this function even and odd, here interval is minus pi to pi and value of function is same. So if it is same but only change of sign between that value, here it is a minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2. So value same but sign ka change hai. sign different hai, yaha pe minus pi by 2 and here plus pi by 2. So this type ke agar condition hai, to check karo ki ye pi by 2, ye jo term yaha pe likha hua hai, it is even or odd. So, pi by 2 is constant. Constant kya hota hai? Even. Or jab two parts mein is tarah se break kya hai or sign change ho kya hai hai. So, that means this function is odd. Abhi first time agar aap study kar rahe hoge, toh maybe ye confusion lagega. Toh iske liye aap even odd ka video properly dekh lera. Because us mein mene proper explain kya hai how to check even and odd. So, mene repeatedly is liye bata rahi ho because it is most important concept in four year series. Now, see. How to check by definition? Agar mujhe is definition se check karna hai, how to check this function is odd or even? We have to replace x by minus x. Replace throughout x by minus x. So you will get f of minus x is, here there is no x, so minus pi by 2 and interval minus pi less than equals to x replaced by minus x. So minus x less than 0. And here again it is constant pi by 2 as it is. Here again x replaced by minus x. So 0 less than x less than pi. Minus x less than pi. Now here when x is negative and we have to convert that term into positive term. So we have to multiply by minus sign. So if we multiply this interval by minus sign. So we know that minus a less than minus b. And if we multiply by minus then the inequality will be changed so less than become greater than and in this way you will get the changes so minus a less than minus b 
If we multiply by minus 1, then inequality will be changed and it will come out A greater than B. So using this concept, if I will multiply this term by minus, so you will get f of minus x is minus pi by 2. Here it is a pi greater than or equals to x greater than 0. And here pi by 2 multiply by minus sign, so 0 greater than x greater than minus now observe the value of function interval wise. So here interval 0 to pi, in the interval 0 to pi value of function is minus pi by 2. 0 to pi minus pi by 2 and here in the question 0 to pi value of function is pi by 2. So here it is pi by 2 and it is minus pi by 2. That means pi by 2 multiply by minus so it is minus pi by 2. And in the interval minus pi to 0 value of function is pi by 2. But here minus pi to 0 value of function is minus pi by 2. So see here it is plus pi by 2 minus pi by 2. That means this is nothing but our function f of x. But here we have to multiply by minus. That means this representing f of minus x is minus f of x. So, f of minus x equal to minus f of x is the definition of odd function. So, this implies f of x is odd function. Now, now if our function is odd, so for Fourier series, we know the formula of Fourier series. Firstly, I will write here formula of Fourier series. So, Fourier series f of x is a0 by 2 plus summation n 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by l and here interval we are taking minus pi to pi so special uh, type of Fourier series we have to use here so it is a n x plus v n sin n x so this is a particular Fourier series for the interval minus pi to pi now, in case our function is odd function, so if our function is odd, that means value of a0 is 0 and value of an is also 0. Because integral minus a to a f of x dx is 0 if our function is odd. So for odd function, integral minus a to a is 0 and here integration if we take the integration of a0 and an, so limit of integral become minus pi to pi. So minus pi to pi integral ka limit agar hai or function odd hai. So in dono mein kya hoga? Odd function aake that become a integration become 0. So this a0 is 0 and an is 0 because, because our function is odd. Now. Next, remaining is only how to find the constant Vn. So here for Fourier series, only how to find constant Vn. So formula of Vn is 1 upon pi integral minus pi to pi f of x into sine nx. Here our function is odd. So f of x is odd function and sine is also odd function. And odd multiplied by odd. It is not our regular multiplication of number. If we take here 3 and this is a 5. 3 into 5 is 15. So 15 is an odd number. So this number is odd even. Nahi hai. It is a odd means negative sign. It is a negative number represent. So this odd minus, hai, minus multiplied by minus is plus. And plus represent karta hai, even. So it is an even term. And if our function is even, so this integral minus a to a f of x dx is 2 times integral 0 to a f of x dx when our function is even. So for even function, you will get that integral twice 0 to a f of x dx. So using this concept, we can write this as 2 by 5 integral 0 to pi f of x sin nx dx. Now put the value of function as per our given question in the interval 0 to pi value of function is pi by 2. So properly check the value of function in particular interval. Here interval is 0 to pi 
and in this interval value of function is pi by 2. So therefore here constant 2 by pi outside as it is and function is pi by 2 into psi n x days. Now here pi by 2 you can take constant outside the integral and this 2 by pi and pi by 2 get cancelled. So remaining is sin nx and integration of sin is cos nx minus cos nx upon n. Limit is 0 to pi. Now put upper limit minus of lower limit. So here integration is with respect to x. So put upper limit lower limit in x. So here minus 1 upon n as it is. If we put upper limit here, so it is a cos n pi minus cos of 0. And cos n pi, when it is a n pi, so it is a formula of minus 1 raised to power n and cos of 0 is 1. Multiply by this minus sign, so you will get here minus multiply by minus is plus then this minus into this term minus minus 1 raised to power n upon n or this minus minus you may write here it is a minus 1 raised to power n plus 1 because here n times minus in multiplication or there is again minus so the total is n plus 1 times minus divided by n so this is the value of b n now we know the value of a0, an and bm. So put these values of constant in our this Fourier series. So therefore f of x is a0 is 0. So no need to put this value. An is also 0. Simply you have to put here. That means summation n varies from 1 to infinity. An is 1 minus minus 1 raised to the power n upon n into sin n x. Hence, this is the Fourier series for the given function f of x. So, for this function, you will get this one answer. So, I hope it is clear to you. Share this video with your maximum friend. And if you are the new on my channel, must subscribe the channel. Click on the bell icon so that you will get a notification of my next video.